Hi guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. Ola have gone ahead and made yet another revolutionary launch. A motorcycle with 502 km range ITC never ever heard of ever before. Is it almost more than some of the electric cars out there? That's absolutely insane. Now they've launched two models, namely the Roadster X and the Roadster X Plus. Now we all know that they had already showcased the Pro Roadster Pro, the Roadster X and the Roadster X Plus on the previous Independence Day. And I was there to showcase that and feature that for you guys. For now, they have not shown the production variant of the Roadster Pro, but what they have shown indeed is the Roadster X and the Roadster X Plus, the real deal, the production variant that you can get your hands on. Now, the Roadster X is available in three battery pack options. First, you have the 2.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, then you have the 3.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, and finally, you have the 4.5 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now these are priced at 7499, 8499 and 9599 as introductory prices to begin with. Now the peak power produced by uh, the Roadster X series is 7 kilowatt standard across all the three battery pack variants. The top speed is around 118 kilometers for the top two variants which is 3.5 and 4.5 kilowatt hour battery pack but the basic variant the 7499 2.5 kilowatt hour battery pack variant offers a top speed of just 105 kilometers per hour which is more than sufficient for daily usage and daily commuting even the 0 to 40 acceleration happens in 3.1 seconds for both the top models of roadster x whereas the base model the 2.5 kilowatt hour battery pack takes around 3.4 seconds now wait until you listen to the specs of the roadster x plus uh, because that's absolutely insane now the range that is the most important thing. The range for the 2.5 kilowatt hour battery pack is 140 kilometers IDC. Then you have the 3.5 kilowatt hour Roadster X, which offers a range of 196 kilometers. And then finally, we have the 4.5 kilowatt hour Roadster X that offers a stupendous range of 252 kilometers to a single charge. Now, the charging time, that's another question. So the 2.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, the Roadster X takes close to six hours for zero to 80% charge. Now, similarly for the 3.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, this is not to 80% time is around four and a half hours. For the 4.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, it's close to six hours. And uh, when it comes to battery warranty, the base warranty pack that you get with the bike is three years or 50,000 kilometers across all the models. But you can extend it up to eight years or 80,000 kilometers, which is absolutely insane. Now, looking at the Roadster X Plus. Now, this comes in two battery pack options or comes with two battery pack options. One, you have the 4.5 kilowatt hour battery pack. And then you have the Roadster X Plus 9.1 kilowatt hour battery pack, which actually goes ahead and offers close to 502 kilometers of IDC range. Now, the peak power for both the models is 11 kilowatt. The top speed remains the same at 125 kilometers per hour for both the models. Even the 0 to 40 timing is the same 2.7 seconds for both the models. And the range is where things differ because the 4.5 kilowatt hour battery pack offers almost half the range at 252 kilometers whereas the top spec 9.1 kilowatt hour battery pack which is priced at 1 lakh 54999 offers a stupendous range of 501 or 502 again now charging time for the 4.5 kilowatt hour battery pack 0 to 80 percent is 6 hours whereas 0 to 80 percent for the 9.1 kilowatt hour battery pack is 8 hours so it might take close to 10 hours for the full charge okay and uh, color variants you have five color variants to choose from again the battery warranty remains the same as i told you three years or 50,000 kilometers and you can extend it up to eight years or 80,000 kilometers now all of these models get the same 4.3 inch colored lcd display now you can't uh, you can call it uh, whatever you'd like to but it's not a beautiful tft display it's just a built for a budget color lcd display is what they call it you get led headlamp with led position lamps led turn blinkers led tail lamp you get a crash guard and as i told you you have five colors to choose from you have three riding modes to play around with namely sports normal and eco so i think most of them will prefer normal to optimize range as well as a little bit of pickup and uh, then you have the battery capacity for the chargers so 
The 2.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, uh, Roadster X gets a portable 350 watt charger. Then you have the Roadster X uh, 3.5 kilowatt hour a model which gets a 750 watt charger. Then the 4.5 kilowatt hour Roadster X gets a 750 watt charger. Now this is the same charger that you get with the Roadster X plus 4.5 kilowatt hour model as well. So that doesn't change because more or less both are same. So you get 750 watt chargers for the 4.5 kilowatt hour. Uh, battery options and then you have the massive giant the 9.1 kilowatt hour roadster x plus for that you get a portable thousand watt charger now i wonder how you will carry that i hope they offer some kind of an accessory tail bag or a tank bag to carry it with consummate ease now looking at the specs you get a double cradle frame to offer supreme stability and rigidity and balance and torsional rigidity and then of course you have telescopic forks to offer good front end feel twin shock absorbers at the back i wonder why they didn't go with the monoshock maybe because of the integration of the battery pack and the motor uh, coming uh, uh, like being centralized already and there was no space to accommodate a monoshock maybe that is the reason because you can see that it takes a little bit of space where the monoshock uh, usually is seen so they have instead gone with the twin shock absorber setup that's okay now you get drum brake setup for uh, the roadster x but the roast roadster x plus gets a front disc option or option yeah it has a front disc model so the for the roadster x you get all drum brakes for the x plus you get a front disc and uh, the tires you get 18 inch front and 17 inch rear the tires are almost the same tubeless alloy wheels and uh, but for the x plus uh, i think you get a 110 section wider tire 110 by 80 tires 17 inch wheel at the back now this now this sums up the, all the specs that you need to know about the latest and the greatest that ola has on offer now looking at their m3 modular platform with three main focus points namely performance safety and riding experience because this is what has made all of this possible the new m3 modular platform with their 4680 bharat cell has absolutely revolutionized uh, the way people will look at electric mobility henceforth now the battery pack now has fewer wires which results in improved efficiency and better range now this has been designed to accommodate uh, the new 4680 bharat cell promising higher energy density for improved range also the modular battery architecture supports capacities from 2.5 kilowatt hour to the 9.1 kilowatt hour is the exact model lineup that we see uh, at the launch day the battery also gets integrated bus bars, thereby offering improved efficiency, safety and reliability. Now, the battery also comes integrated to the MCU as I mentioned earlier and that's the reason they've done away with the monoshock maybe because it takes up a lot of space there. Uh, also, this results in a compact and efficient design, thereby preventing power loss. That's an interesting point. Also, the new architecture includes the industry first flat cables which improves overall packaging efficiency, reduces the overall weight and enhances the overall thermal performance, thereby improving overall durability and reliability. Now, this new architecture also allows Ola to accommodate motors up to 20 kilowatt of peak power, thereby allowing them to offer higher performance machines in the future. The integrated motor control unit supported by the in-house developed software offers uninterrupted torque delivery and sustained acceleration which results in a very satisfying and engaging riding experience i'm really kicking myself to get my hands on the bike and ride it to my heart's content maybe that will happen next month or midway through march we're just waiting for that moment and that will actually answer the real deal as to how well they've made these bikes also the ola bikes will carry their patented brake wire wire tech which was introduced with their gen 3 scooters and what this basically means is there's a sensor that identifies the braking pattern and the urgency of braking now this results in the electronic and mechanical braking thereby enhancing the overall range by 15 percent now that's interesting uh the braking tech uh, I think it uh, kicks in with the region, uh, thereby enhancing the overall range efficiency by 15%, which is really, really uh, amazing. Also, it offers for a smoother and controlled braking uh, experience or braking mechanism. The battery is encased in a modular double cradle frame architecture that's lighter, stronger and stiffer, 
to absorb any kind of undulations that the road has an offer even uneven roads i mean uneven road surfaces or bumps or potholes uh, it uh, makes sure that the rider is safe at the end of it all the frame's flexible character allows it to accommodate various battery configurations the braking arrangement and motor layouts also the flexible model enables easy modification of the subframe swing arm and suspension thereby allowing ola to create bikes across different categories and genres like maybe an adventure bike or a super sport or a naked bike or a roadster or even a scrambler we see we'll see what the future has on offer now the overall chassis structure also has lowered center of gravity thereby offering superb balance and stability and also easy maneuverability so this concludes my quick overview of the roadster x and the x plus if you like what you see and want to see more pure automobile content stay subscribed for more action right here at dino's world i'll catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe